Hello guys, it's been a while. This is Gaming Dugong again and I finally posting Identity 5 again. Yay! It's not like I haven't been playing Identity 5 at all, but I have been just editing Phasmophobia more in the past few months and I'm sorry for that. Um, because I'm playing Identity 5 on my phone, it's a bit more troublesome in a way to uh, you know, transfer that and such. So, here is 8 vs 2, one of my favorite events in Adam 35. And I don't usually do Cypher Rush, but in this case, because I haven't seen the Hunter nearby, I directly go for Cypher and I connected the Priestess Calling. I think it's good that the Priestess actually called early in the game because just in case they needed to run away from the Hunter and stuff they could so yeah and I played doctor because there is a prisoner which is a decoder and a couple of runners we have a rescuer the coordinator I know we have another doctor but um, I think uh, healing is actually one of the best things that you can do in this game it's very helpful so a prisoner the prisoner has connected his uh, cyber to mine and I went for 12% because uh, I still have a bit to go. I tend to go for 48% for the last 20% of my cyber. Uh, so that I can finish my cyber first instead of uh, the other cyber. It's to, you know, it's, it's just so that I can move to another cyber. Uh, unless otherwise that um, the hunter is far away or chasing someone and I go for 48% directly to help the other cyber. So here I thought, oh, why not just go for a chest first because I haven't have opened any chest. And it's it's normal searching for a doctor. It's as, uh, I've heard it's very fast for a toy maker. It's like 100% faster. Oh, I have another syringe and yeah, well. I guess I have to buy something later from the phone booth. I will help the prisoner here because he has connected to another cipher. Like here, because uh, it's safer on this side of the area. I we went for like 24, 48% to help out the other cipher on the other side. It's a medium range, so transmission loss is moderate. From here on, I went off and tried to find our cipher. The the hunters uh, on this game is actually a geisha and a disciple, which is two of the most annoying. Well, I guess disciple is actually more annoying because they can stun you with a cat. I mean, I'm a fan of cats in real life, but not in this game. I bought a decoy, uh, I think decoy is one of, one of my favorite phone booth items in 8 vs 2 uh, because you can just bluff a bit here and there okay, she's the doctor, don't need my help so I go for a decoy and because there's a geisha there and I guess suppose I'll just find our decoder I hope someone will try to help the gardener later. Well, another, another hunter is there. The disciple is here. Um, so let's see where I can go from here. She's chasing a survivor, so I can try to quote more here to help out. And the dungeon is here too. So always, always make sure you send a message that where the dungeon is because it's very important in any game. You can help out your teammate with that, uh, and especially in it versus two, you can make them know where they need to open the dungeon because you can open the dungeon with a crowbar in it versus two. So let's finish decoding here. Well, let's try. Um. Oh, there's a cat. Yeah, unless the disciple is coming on this side. Let's run away a bit. Oh, crap. 
I didn't see that coming. My bad. And of course I get stun. Let's uh, run further. And I used my decoy a bit so that she wouldn't see exactly where I went. She saw a prisoner. So I tend to uh, change from run to walk if I'm like running away from the hunter if like they didn't see me so I can you know bluff a little bit so I wait a little bit here because I wanted to decode the cipher uh, downstairs so I made sure and it's not here anymore and then I went back downstairs together with another doctor someone actually uh, helped out to rescue the gardener but she got caught again unfortunately see everyone actually need to say where the dungeon is uh, the cypher machine is uh, no it's not prime it was my cypher machine <clears throat> so let's queue for items oh there's a cat okay so, since I have one decoy left, I bought Spit Pill to help out my spit in this game. So, about the uh, extra pills in 8 versus 2, you can buy it once. So, only one person can buy it. Like, if someone already bought it, you cannot buy another Spit Pill. Uh, but the other pills that hasn't been bought, you can actually buy it. Um, since I'm not a not really a runner, uh, I suppose. Buying a spit pill is good. Or you could probably buy attention to attention pills, which help with a uh, faster recoding. Uh, and I think there is some other pills that helps you with he uh, faster healing or rescuing. And the other one is a uh, no terror shock for one time or something. So the disciple decided to chase me. How fun! tried to bluff but since the cat is has caught me I pulled down the pallet uh, she got me and I I'll try to hold that as as long as possible here of course she almost caught me again let's run here and put that pallet and try to heal between uh, crap, freaking cats. Of course she got the cats. Luckily someone already finished deciphering all the cyber machines. Managed to run away with a speed boost at the end there with the board time. And um, I suppose since I was quite far I can hide here and heal a bit before I went up and find where should I go next. I tend to heal full health uh, with the doctor, you know, just in cases. Even though it, even though like there's like 10% wound. So someone grab a crowbar and try to pry open the dungeon. I hope. Where does it go? It went to one of the house. All right, so that's when downstairs. Perfumer said to follow me. Oh, the priestess already exit. The prisoner is opening the one of the exit gates. Uh, let's see. Well, because we only need a little bit time to. Oh, the doctor has escaped. Because we only need a little bit time to escape this game, I bought a flare gun to obviously escape from the hunter. So apparently the dungeon has already been opened. So I can escape from here and revenge by bitch. So yeah, it's it one of one of one of the better games that I've had because uh, look at the score, pretty good runners. Um, they help each other. We only have one lost, uh, the gardener, which is fine in this in this kind of particular game. The hunters aren't so bad either. I think it, it's quite a, it's quite a 
good match for skills in between hunters and the uh, survivors and so i hope you enjoyed and let's meet up again on the next video thank you for watching guys